I'm Anna and today I'm going to show you how to make this bracelet. This bracelet is called the Tribal Sweets Bracelet and it was designed by Looming.loom on Instagram. She has a really pretty account, really high quality pictures. Here's the Venice bracelet. <laughs> and here is her rendition on her bracelet from the Tribal Sweets. And yeah, you should really give her a follow. So, let's see what materials we need. So, you will need one loom, but if you want to make a full wrap, you will need two. You will need your hook, but you can use any type of hook since there's no tension. And you will obviously need some bands. And I'll tell you in which part of the bracelet I'll use them as I go on. You will need a sick clip, S clip, or any type of closure. So take your loom and make sure your red arrow is pointing away from you. And I'll be using zebra stripe bands for the zebra stripe bands here. So take a look at it. So that's basically the border. So we're going to make a simple or basic border like this. So you're going to do that all the way down, I guess, your loom. So I'll be back once I'm at the top. So once you're at the top of your loom, you're just going to close the border like this. Boop, really simple. And we're going to take our next color of bands. For the Fruity Tutti Pink, the Purple Lily, and the Hot Pink and Ocean, I'll only be using two colors instead of three. I'll be using Galaxy Green and Blue and Chill Tie Dye. So, you. Yeah. So, we're going to go at the start of our loom again. And this is actually pretty easy. You're going to take your colors and we're just going to do arrows that will point away from us. So, just like this. And then go to the next peg and do the same thing. Just like that. As you can see, it is really, really, really easy. So, yeah. I'll be alternating between these two colors. So, yeah. I always say, so yeah, but oh well. Oh, and I always say, oh well. <laughs> Anyways, you're going to do that until you get to the top of your loom. The last arrow that you're going to do will be right here, so not on top of the border. Mm -hmm. Boop. And now we're going to turn our loom around because we're going to start the hooking process. So yeah. So take whatever color you would like to use for your capping band and make a capping band. Then you're going to go into the capping band and grab the top band, which will be a border band. We're going to pull it here and also to the peg that's on the center, like this. Do the same thing with the other band, like that. Get here and then stretch it to the peg that's diagonally in the center, like this. Now, we're not going to um, with the borders, we're going to get in the center here and grab the top band, just loop it to where it goes, and then get in here, grab the last band, and loop it to where it goes. Now we're going to go into here, and now we're going to loop this border normally, mm -hmm. and get in here and loop the border normally, like that. We're going to go into this peg and we're going to grab the last band which will be the border band and we're going to loop it to the center just like that and then do the same thing on this side get in there and you will grab the bottom band which will be the border band and you will just loop it to the center like that now we're going to get here into the center and we're going to grab these bands well the, the band that's on the top, I guess. <laughs> We're going to loop it normally to where it goes. Do the same thing here. Get in here. 
grab the last band and loop it to where it goes. And then go in here, grab the bottom band, which will be this border band, and you will loop it to the center like we did before. And same thing here. Get in there, grab the bottom band, and loop it to the center. Then get into the center and grab the top band and loop it to where it goes. Again, get in there, grab the last band, and loop it to where it goes. Just like that. Now, we're going to keep on doing that. So, if you can see, I've been looping the border band to the center. And I'm doing the left one first and then the right. The left one, right. The left one, right. So if you do the right one first, you're always going to do the right one first. So we're going to keep it consistent. I'm at the last kind of process, I guess. <laughs> so let me zoom in. So we're going to do the same thing again. Get in here, put it to the center, then go to the other side, grab the last band, and pull it to the center. Then get into the center, grab the top band and loop it to where it goes, and then get into the center, grab the last band and loop it to where it goes. And now we're going to finish off like the looming, the looping. So get in here and just grab that last band, which is the border band, and just close it normally. Do the same thing on this side, like that. Now we're going to do an extension if you are only using one loom. So I'm not going to explain this because you probably already know. So yeah, I'm going to take it off my loom. I'll be back once I'm done. So this is how it looks like, but I'm going to untwist everything. So to untwist, you just have to take the band and roll it into your fingers. Just try to do that again and again until it untwists. Just like that. So now we're going to like do the outer, outer, outer borders, which here I used, um, I think it's Venus. Yeah, solar Venus, I think. No, well, solar pink, I guess. And I'm going to use Pretty 2D light green, which looks like yellow in camera, but it's not, so. You're going to get from the bottom, you're going to get into the capping band like this, and you're going to pull your border band through. Then we're going to go from the bottom, remember, from behind the band, we're going to grab these band, okay? There's these band. There is this band, and there is this band, okay? We're going to grab this one. So get into it behind like that. Then grab your border band and pull it through all these three bands. Then we will do the same thing. There is this band and this band. We're going to get into this bottom band like that. Then grab the border band and pull it through all the bands that are on your hook. And that's basically what we're going to do. Remember, top and bottom. Like that. And pull that band through all your bands. Do the same thing, bottom, bottom band. But remember to go from behind, okay? Because if you go like this, then it won't look good. So go like this. And pull that band through everything. I'm going to show you one more time. So like this and pull a band through all the three bands on your hook. Well I'm actually going to show you one more time. So if you can see there is this back side, there's this front side. In the front there's one band and then there's another one. Okay, you're going to take the one that's closest to the back of the bracelet, go from behind it, and then just pull that band through everything. So, 
you're going to do that until you get to the top of your bracelet. So once you're at the top, to close it, you're going to remove only one side of these bend. Okay? You're going to place it on your hook. Then you're going to pull that band through these two bands. And you're just going to close that. Oh, okay, just like this. Boop. So now we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So pull a band through the cap band. And this time we're going to do it like backwards. We're going to start like, you can't have the bracelet like this. So we're going to do this. You're going to get into the band. Remember that there's two bands here. You're going to get into the band that's closest to the reverse side of the bracelet. So like this from behind and pull the band through everything. And we're going to do the same thing from behind. Grab the band that's closest to the back of the bracelet and pull the border band through everything. And yeah, that's basically what you're going to do. So once you get to the last band, we're going to do the same thing that we did on this side. You're going to get into one onto the other, actually, yeah, the other side of the band and remove it from the sick clip. Like that. And we're going to pull that zebra band through these two pretty 2D bands and just clip that again. Now, once we've done that, once we've closed it, you can now add an extension to your bracelet. Then, once you're done with your extension, you can now clip the bracelet. Like that, and then just clip it like this. I actually like to clip it like this. So. This one and this one. I don't know why, but yeah. Ta-da! So I hope that you really liked this video. If you did, please give this a thumbs up. And make sure to hashtag your renditions on Instagram to looming.loom or looming loom, I'm not sure. And hashtag looming by Anna without underscores or anything. And also Hashtag Tribal Sweets Bracelet. So, see ya!